Hi, this is Eitan Shalom, and I am here today with my patient, um, who is a professional ballet dancer uh, with a possible case of Morton's neuroma, which is a... So I have needled through the... Obviously, this is the bottom of her foot. I have needled uh, right into the area, and that's what we do. Because it's... Uh, um, a benign fibroma of sorts, you can needle right into it. And what happens also is she also uh, has had a history of plantar fasciitis. And I've, I've taken some of the needles out, but I, you see these needles here on the side of the foot, those are, I'm needling into the plantar fascia, which is a sheath of fascia that runs under the sole of the foot. This, what she might also have is, is a case where the, the fascia is tightened here and irritating that area. And so, but the key point is, even if she has um, Morton's neuroma, because um, so far she's been to a, a, um, a physical therapist, you've not been to the, the, the orthopedist or the podiatrist, is that correct? Yeah, not yet. Yeah, she's just been to a physical therapist, and the physical therapist didn't, did, didn't, couldn't confirm that she has it or not. Um, and even if she does have it, it, it's a very mild case. But because she's a dancer, it's very important that her feet are in good shape. And so I also needled the fascia on the inside, so going this direction. And when I, But when I got to these points, she said, well, I told you I was going to make you repeat it on camera. You said, what did you say? Feels really good. Yeah, and you said, feels really good. That's the spot. That's the spot. Yeah, and so this particular patient, like I wouldn't needle like this on everybody because uh, some people would would really dislike the sensation. Um, m more typically with Morton's neuroma, I, I'm needling from the opposite side of the foot, which is easier because you don't have to, it can be painful to pass through this skin and, and the fascia uh, from this angle, but she has very soft skin, even though she's a dancer. So the needles went in quite easily. These are 32 gauge needles. So now I'm going to do a pistoning technique, uh, um, and you'll stop me if it's too much, but she liked, she asked me to do more of this before I went and got the camera. Okay, so see, that's just going in really easily. And then this one. Yeah, it's, it's just, so when they first went in, when they first went in, I could feel the fascia and muscle um, fasciculating or jumping. Mm, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get an another needle for that one because this needle, um, it's very tight. I think I'm right into the belly of the beast, but I might have to get another needle because this, I well, what it is is I can't, I need two hands to needle this one. I need to hold the shaft of that needle with my other hand um, because it's so tight. And I will do that when I when I put the camera down. How about that one? Oh, that's great. That's she said. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So that's really I can. So you know, if I compare what these two needles feel like to me versus the first two, is it's it's quite tight and and it takes some force to move the needle. But again, if I support the shaft of the needle with my this is my right hand with my left hand, which is holding the camera holding the camera, it'll be much easier. And then this is the plantar fascia here, which she had asked me, I started to take the needles out and she said, can you stimulate those again? Cause she got, she got such a release on the plantar fascia when I put these in, I could see the whole s surface of her foot jump a little bit. Um, good one? Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is the pistoning technique. In China, they call that lift and thrust. Physical therapists who do it call it pistoning technique. One could also attach electrical stim to this, to these needles and have a continuous um, stimulation, but uh, I, I, that can be overkill with the fascia. Is that a good one too? Yeah. So this is releasing the plantar fascia um, and uh, it, it's also uh, needling into the tendon that comes this direction. So, um, you know, there's the exact needling on the exact tissue that's exactly where the pain is, but there's also needling the surrounding area because a muscle between the third and fourth toe doesn't exist in a, in a vacuum or in the abstract, it's part of a foot. So if there's other muscles in the foot that are tight, I always want to release the whole area. And for that matter, 
um, I didn't do much today, but because I've already done it on her a lot. But you know, if she if she had also said, and my calves feel really tight, there's no way I wouldn't have needled the calves as well. Now I sometimes get patients coming in who've had dry needling with physical therapists, and with all due respect, the treatment model that most physical therapists have is like Western medicine: get them in, get them out, uh, twenty minutes. I mean, when I've been to the physical therapist, I didn't even see the PT after the first session. I saw their assistant. So they will often come in and, and you can see physical therapist videos and I'm not knocking them. Um, they'll do one point and they want to find the one point that's the trigger point that's the source of trigger point pain. This isn't trigger point pain. This is a Morton's neuroma. But even in the case of trigger point pain, if you study trigger points seriously, in the Janet Travell uh, uh, Simon's books, and she's the medical doctor that, that described physical, uh, trigger points in detail, and she's got uh, two hallmark books about that, which uh, have maps of all the trigger points. There are the there are the multiple trigger points in a small area, and then there's also what are called satellite trigger points. So she doesn't just do one trigger point. So I, I did have somebody uh, get upset with me recently who didn't understand why my sessions were longer than the physical therapist sessions were. And I said, well, to be honest, because I'm doing more. Um, and if you don't want that, then don't don't come in, that's fine. But, but um, my approach is to try to get somebody better completely. And I'd rather have a one single uh, hour, 90 minute session or hour and 15 minute session than have you come th for 20 minutes three times a week. Um, uh, you know, that makes more sense to me. So and that's just my style of practice. Okay, well, I'm going to take these out and do some more on the other side of her foot. Thanks for tuning in.